All right, I think we're good. All right, guys, hey, welcome to another uh, episode of Beantown Banter and Bullshit. We're back here on a Tuesday. Uh, we'll probably be back on Thursday, but hey, why not? We had the hurricane available tonight, so we're going to shoot the shit with them. Uh, Tom, how was your week? Oh, it was okay. I felt like crap last week for a while, for a few days, but it was not COVID. It wasn't Lyme disease or anything bad. It was just one of those felt like shit for a few days. But otherwise, now it's been beautiful. We're down here in North Carolina. Today was like a 75 degree day with cool breezes, hung out on the patio all day. It's been, it's been nice, honestly, for the last week or so. It really has been beautiful. How about Nothing wrong with that? I'll tell you, I know it was shitty up here. We had, um, there he is. Oh, really? I was just texting you. Hey, Peter. Peter McNeely, What's up, everybody. Guys? What's the good yeah. word, my man? Did you have just trouble getting in? Relax is looking at a beautiful sunset out my back door. There's nothing wrong with that, my man. After all this rain this weekend, we need it. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. See? See? Nothing wrong with that at all. Good. Nice. 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 Did you pie, what, any cookouts this weekend or cook-ins? Um, yeah, cook-in. There you go. Bacon? Actually, whoa, we may, we may do a cookout on my back deck. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So uh, hey, I seen that you uh, you commented on the the wrestling post earlier this week. Uh, the Mr. Fuji comment, I love. <laughs> the what? The what? The, the Mr. Fuji comment. Uh, uh, Fuji and Saito. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Who who is your favorite tag team of all time? I I I couldn't say. But you wanted to be in one. I remember me and Tom were just talking. Uh, hey, but I do. You know, I used to like those guys. Those guys from Texas. They, the bunch of them died. They were brothers. The oh, Von like Erics. the Von Erics? Von Eric? Von, Von Erics, yes. The best. The Texas Tornado, baby. Kerry Von Eric, Kevin Von Eric, David Von Eric, Fritz. Yep. That's the family yep. right there. Awesome. Good pick. We'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. So what's new, man? I, I seen you posted your training video the other day. You thinking about it or what? Say it again? I said I seen you posted your training video yesterday. I, I uh, Somebody reposted it. Yeah? Yeah, but um, short, shortly, I'm, I'm not training right now, but I will be back training shortly. There you go. There you go. I seen... Uh, all the merch coming out this, these past few weeks. All looks Speaking good. Of merch, I'm wearing our latest, the latest, our summer top. See? Is that it? Nice. The old summer top. Nice. Tank top. Nice. Yeah, guys, guys built like me don't wear tank tops, Peter. I'm afraid <laughs> to say that. I just can't. I can't pull it off. I look like a broad, probably. No. So, what do you well, we we fit all shapes and sizes. <laughs> That's right. Get my boy medium. Get him a boy's medium. <laughs> just like my haircut. I want a boy's <laughs> medium. I need a boy's regular. Boys regular. <laughs> boys regular. Yeah, exactly. Here's, here's the five dollar bill. Go in there and tell me you want a boys regular. <laughs> uh, uh, Peter, now I know it's early in the conversation, but uh, something rang in my mind earlier today when I realized we were going to talk to you. Did you ever know a gentleman by the name of Ray Mercer, the boxer? Did you ever run into him? I never ran into him. I never, I never actually met him or ran into him, but boy, did he decimate Tommy Morrison. Yes, um, I realized that, like, my army base, bomb holder, our gym was named the Ray Mercer Gymnasium, and he had served there for years. He didn't fight until he was 23, went to the fucking Olympics, became a world champion, all this stuff, and he had somehow slipped out of my memory. I'd sort of forgotten about him. Olympic gold medalist. Yeah, he was an Olympic gold medalist. No shit. And somehow he had slipped out of my mind, and I know you know everybody in the 
boxing world. I just didn't know if you ran into him. But what an interesting character that guy was. I had no idea. But cool guy. Dark. We call we call him Dog Zack. Whoa! What does that mean, Dog Zack? Let me think about that. They were like Tyson. They got that big deck. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mike told me he was going to have to tune out for a few minutes to get this going. So uh, he's got some connection issues. But uh, other, otherwise, I've enjoyed seeing a lot of your posts and you and your wife's posts. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing good. Are you selling a lot of merch? Is there a way? Actually, at the end of this, we'll definitely include a link. Well, but just well, tell us the best way. Either what? my Facebook go back. On my Facebook profile or my Instagram profile, and you'll see the um, how to get get a hold of my partner who does the merchandise. Gotcha. Yeah, I have seen those links. I just I'm, I'm not sure if I've shared them widely yet or not, or if the site has. But if we haven't, we will. Peter, have we? Uh, is Dante Luna? There yeah. You go. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, name, right? Luna. Yeah. That's we'll get it. Out there. We'll- We'll get it up there on the blog. Okay, thanks. For, I wish we had this uh, technology when we did that first chat with you. We had, there was a lot of good stuff. Thanks for coming back. Because uh, people couldn't hear it. It was like the first one we ever did, you know? But huh? we weren't going to jeopardize not talking to you the first time. <laughs> yeah. He's making fun of you, Mike. He's Let's fucking go. with it's you. Time. It's time. It's time. It's, uh, it's time. <laughs> Meet me on 495. It's time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, bad, bad accident on 495 last night yeah what two. what really are you guys joking or did something yeah. happen bad accident 18 wheeler in a car yeah. oh no I didn't know that two people got killed yeah well, sorry weekend. I didn't know no Mem- memorial weekend you know it's almost uh it's gonna be one. It always seems you want to escape with no no tragedies, but um, right, yeah. right, yeah. Hey, people, hey, people want to drink and fuck around. That's what happens. Yeah, it's true. It's the truth. So, Peter, did you see today that uh, one of the YouTube Paul boys uh, they set up a fight with um, the kid from UFC. What's his name? Logan Paul or no? Uh, no, Floyd and one Paul, the other Paul signed to fight um one of the UFC. Oh, Rashad Woodley. Uh, no, 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 Tyron Woodley. Can you see my eyes? Look I can. Eyes. I can see him. Yeah. No, <laughs> <you're> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Peter doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> He's really. <laughs> we'll not watch it. It'll be free on YouTube. A day or two later, if it's even worth watching. Right. Um, and and either Paul brother are nothing more than novice amateurs. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna. I know. He, I they're mean, they're no, novice I'm, amateurs. It's a fact. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. You're right. They're not fight. They're fighting UFC guys who barely box. You know. I, I don't know. I, it's only money. It's a show. Hey, 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 right, right. It's it's entertainment. Entertainment. Yep, that's that's the word. That's the word right there. So, uh, Peter, are you uh you watching any of the uh, the postseason for the Bruins or the Celtics? You super invested in either team. I know you're a Boston fan, obviously, but I don't know how invested you are. Right. I want all my Boston teams to be good, but if, there's not, if it's not a fight, I ain't watching. Ah, uh, I hear you. I get it. I'm, he I'm a, star, but he's not used to fight. I see. <laughs> I see. My cousin play. Both of my cousins, their brothers, Jeff Norton and Brad Norton, both played all over the NHL. No one. See, but, I'm not. I'm not an overly hockey guy, but I know the Bruins are making some noise right now. Playoff hockey, um, I, I can I, get them. I'm a, I'm a human zamboni. 
<laughs> that could mean yeah, so many uh, what does that even mean Peter? a human zamboni you scrape what off of what, <laughs> what do you i polish do? the ice with my body because i can't because i can't skate <laughs> well i can't yeah. skate for shit either i can't oh, yeah. skate it's embarrassing seriously oh god it's embarrassing how bad i skate like like hey if they, uh, I won't even attempt. I won't even attempt. <laughs> no. No, it was very embarrassing. One of the first times I met my in-laws, we were in D.C. and they have that, like, public skating rink. And they're like, Tom, you want to go skating? And I'm like, no, I'm sore. But the fact <laughs> is, I would have looked like an eight-year-old on roller skates. I would have looked like an idiot. So I fucking have literally never ice skated since I met my wife because I know how, what an when idiot I, I look like. When I was young, in Medfield, they had Rocky Woods. Rocky Woods had a pond, and every winter you could skate. And and uh, my father could skate, my mother could skate, my brothers could skate. I couldn't. Same, skate. same with me. Same with me. The you know, I knew was their body. <laughs> All right. All right. I wasn't even that. I was nothing. I was like the goal marker. I would sit there and let them shoot pucks at me. I didn't give a fuck. At least I'm playing. Whether it was on ice or on the street, I was always the goalie. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that, my man. So we got, I think the Celtics are on tonight. Uh, are they on tonight, folks? Yeah. This will be the three to one game, right? So possible elimination. Yeah. Oh boy, I didn't think they were, but maybe they are. I'll have to Speaking check. about the Celtics, how about yeah. that? How about that idiot fan throwing the water at one of the play at the players on the yeah. way out? Yeah, oh. that that's a douchebag move. I don't know if it's assault with a deadly weapon or something. I don't know what they charged him with, but it's a total douchebag move. If I was there, I would have grabbed him. But was, what are you going to do? There were claims, there were claims of, of racism, and, and they got the guy. They arrested the guy. Yeah, yeah they did. They got him. They got him. They got him. So, now, now, I mean, the, the fans got to relax. Though. You, you can't. You just. You can't jeopardize the guys coming to entertain everybody. You know what I mean? Do they, well, what are they going to come back for? I mean, as much as you hate them, use your words. If you can't take someone out with your words, don't throw a fucking water bottle at them. You know what I mean? I know. Uh, it is a pussy know, move. Not, it's such know, a I, pussy move. No, whenever, Bradley Beal today uh, of the Wizards said it right. What did he say? Let the fans do whatever they want, but let us. If you want to fight, let's fight. You know what I mean? Don't throw a water bottle because you know he can't come running up the stands at you. Do it if, right. if you see him right. on the street, then do it. You know what I mean? And then let him. Bradley Beal said today no, he can't. No, do it. No, do it. The soccer punch. Right. Yeah, I, I uh, like I said, I've only seen the video, same as you guys. But to me, I think that if I threw a water bottle at Peter McNeely on the street. And he came over and beat the shit out of me. Not, then yes. I know, I know. <laughs> then, so, so he comes over, or Mike, or anyone. I throw a water bottle at you, or popcorn at you, and then you put me in the hospital. I don't think I'm the one going to jail, right? I'll it's try, almost like a it's, the guy's an idiot, but you gotta like. I think they did the right thing. They got him the fuck out of there before he got his ass kicked. Yeah, because he okay. would have gotten his ass beaten bad. Really bad. I'm about to try to eat the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> like a pelican. Just <laughs> like a gobble. <laughs> yeah, more popcorn. <laughs> popcorn Peter McNeely. <laughs> I love it. Dump, dump the bag down my throat. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even going to touch that one that is. That's just too easy <laughs> Dump the bag down my throat For God's sake, Peter Have some self-respect <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Wait, did anyone ever mess with you When you're going to the ring? 
Anyone ever throw anything at you? Oh, yeah. Good question. All right. We're at the Women Army. I can't remember who I beat, but I was on, I'm, I'm, on my, I'm on my way to the locker room. Now, the Women Army was a small place. It was not a big place. And I'm coming out. I'm coming to the locker room door. And some, somebody, some guys are, are yelling and screaming at me. Like but being be, being idiots. So I so one of my one of the guys I trained with went like this. He went like that. He he went he went like that. And as soon as he went like that, I spat on him. <laughs> so, what? so so it it was an obvious. So you didn't get hit with anything, you didn't get thrown anything thrown at you. They, you know, yeah. they're, they're talking shit, you know? Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> they're talking all right. trash. Yeah, no one likes that. Everyone hates people who talk trash. Well, <laughs> like I said, the place, this place was so small. Like, like you know, you, you had, to, like, obviously they had a little too much to drink themselves because, like, it was just idiocy. Complete idiocy. Yep. Gotcha. All right. That that makes sense. Yep. Yep. I get it. I get it. I know. Um, yeah, I think. Well, the Red Sox on and on today. I know they lost yesterday. Uh, oh, fuck. I just saw I'm just catching the score that. now. Hold on. Or I'm just catching the ticker now. Hey, McNe- uh, Peter. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Just put the phone on. I can hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, I'm still here. Go ahead. <laughs> he said, "Go ahead, I'm still here." I'm here. Talk to me. Oh wait, Tom's uh, Tom's muted. Tom, you're on mute, brother. Me. Hey, oh, you're back. He's he back. Is. There he is. No, you're still mute. Tom, what have you done? No, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom, Tom. You're there. I feel like I'm talking about Bob. Can, can we hear you? Tom. Tom hey. No, he's out. Nothing. No audio. Hey, he's scared. Five, four, oh, three, he's two. He's back. You're back. No, nope, he's gone. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Hey, uh, can you hear me now? Hey, yeah, hey. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. My headphones died on me. I don't, I don't know why. They're working great. So the sound's going to be a little crappier from here on out. No, it's fine. It, it's fine, Tom. Okay, you can hear me okay? We, we, we can hear you fine. Uh, 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 I was going to say Mr. McNeely, but you There can't... you are. I see you now. <laughs> Hey, how often do you go, Peter? How often do you go to, like, uh, Red Sox, Celtics, Patriots games? Do you go a lot? Are you, like, a regular? I couldn't tell you. I couldn't even tell you how I saw it. No, no, I think you would just because, you know, I recognize it would be kind of fun, you know, it would be kind of cool. I I couldn't even tell you how I saw it. My my, hey, like a particular my, my my beautiful wife what would be like? Come on, let's go. Hello. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm listening. I just, I, uh, don't. I don't know what. Um. So what prevents you from going? You just don't like the crowd atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. I just I couldn't be. Hey, the best the best seat is at home with the TV. Oh, I agree with you, but I figure I'm not. I'm also not a fucking celebrity, so it might be cool to go there and like sort of hang. Neither am I. Neither am I. Yeah, you kind of are, buddy. Sorry, but you kind of are. At least in Massachusetts, uh, especially in Massachusetts, you are. So a little uh, bit. Hey, look at it. Look at uh, Tom. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, like in the movie, good, good fellas. You insult them a little bit. Hey, yeah, just, just, just <laughs> you insult them a little bit. Not gonna break up. Not gonna break up my party. <laughs> hey, uh, last time we spoke, 
You were talking about going to Cali for uh, California for uh, the summer with your. Uh, I, that 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 like I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm still waiting for dates. Gotcha. Still well, waiting for dates. Well, in uh, in about nine days, I'm gonna be up in Massachusetts, and I might go find you. Really? Like, really? I'm, I'm going to the Cape. Didn't he say you had a? You have a connection at the Cape or a place at the Cape, right? You said I, 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 I'm way, I'm way up. I'm, I'm in North Mass now. I'm up, oh, okay. I'm up I'm between, I'm between Lowell and Lawrence Mass. Okay, I kind of, I know the region, whatever. But yeah. when, when is, I, when I, I have, be, I have become like a, I, I've become a like. Quite a member at a boxing gym in Lawrence called Intense Boxing. Intense with a Z. Nine seven eight. Intense okay. Boxing. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll share a link to them. I N T E N Z. Is that what it is? Z Z E. Okay. Intense. S. Seven S Z. Gotcha. Yeah, we can share a link to that, right, Mike? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, nine, of course. Seven, nine seven eight ten box. Go see, go see, Jose Dino Madera. The best, great yeah. gym, great gym. Right, right on the right off the Seward Street, Lawrence. I I think I saw a picture of that today. I think you posted of uh, oh, is that the awning out front. No, no, that that was either it was either that was either they did that themselves, or you're looking at my old pictures of you know like I've 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 posted pictures on Instagram and Facebook yeah. of the gym. Yep, yep, I saw that. Oh, do you still go? Do you go to the gym every day? Well, uh, not yeah. every day, not every day, but. But I I go there a lot uh, now. Like this past um, August, September, October, no, November, for four months I trained hard because there was talk of me doing an exhibition with Tony Tucker. There was talk of, of the rematch with Tyson, and so I I was tra I actually started training. Again, and December one, I I shut down for the holidays, and and you know, and I'm I'm gonna go back, you know, but you know, like this, I'm staying in shape. I'm still 220 pounds, like I was 26 years ago this August. Uh, August 19th. August nineteenth, I was the uh, <laughs> way I was two twenty four, but on the day, uh, like an hour before the fight, they went re weighed us. I was two twenty. Man, you got the you got the tools you need, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I weigh two twenty if I pick up my wife before I step on the scale. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I'm ever going to hit 220, big guy. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, my wife, it's funny because my beautiful wife, Anna Rita McNally, she, like, she has eight sisters and one brother. Wow. And, and. They would like they would all be arguing with, with each other over whether whether they watched the fight with me and Tyson or not. <laughs> Twenty six years ago, so who you know, I've been with my wife for seven years, and and who like I'd be lucky. I, I'm I'm sorry. I'd be lucky if I knew what you guys are doing on. On August nineteenth, I know where I was. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I actually know where I was. That's for sure. I, know where where you, I, I, I was in my buddy's living room with everyone else watching that fight. I watched where? that fight. I believe in Derek Wharton's house. I'm pretty sure. 
Sure. Yeah. Just, just put it out there. What do you mind? Tom, where where did you watch? What state? Uh, uh, I was in Worcester, Massachusetts, and my buddy. Oh, you know, okay. Yeah. All right. Derek's apartment, I guess. God, I gotta right. remember who was there. I just gotta try to remember which apartment we were in. I speak of Worcester. They live in a bunch. Speak so. of Worcester. Um, all right. How about uh? Geez, I've fought in Worcester a few times. <laughs> For well, my second pro fight back then, it was called the Worcester Centrum. Yeah, oh, it's still. Yeah. Yeah. No, didn't they rename that shit into something like a DCU Center? Is that what the Centrum is now? Yeah. DCU, DCU. Uh, but yeah, the Centrum is, was when it was badass. Didn't have like the Who and like like fucking crazy bands like that. And right. Bach. Love the Who. Y'all can all like the Who. I love the Who, but it was just so weird right. to see them in my own city. It's like, you know, right. you know, right. about them, and they're like, holy fuck, they're actually here in Worcester going to our McDonald's? <laughs> you know, going to our shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking weird, but whatever. Funny. Uh, uh, please, Mike. I feel like the Who played in Bedfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, we're, we're so um, you know, Kurt Schilling used to live in Medfield. Yeah, he lived. He lived like less than a mile away from where I grew up. Uh, I've been to his house. <laughs> he bought Drew Bledsoe's old house. Yes, and he had that the rock in the front yard that had three thousand engraved in it for three thousand strikeouts. I'll yeah. never forget that. Yeah, well, Drew. And it was also right next to my church. Yeah. The church I grew up going to. Do you, do you have family in Medfield now still? Yes. Yeah. My, my, my brother Sean's... Uh, my brother Sean has two boys and two daughters that are, that are still in Medfield. Medfield. It's a nice town. I know that. Yes. yes. Oh, Dave Kenny in the building. Dave, how you doing? No, he's got no audio right now. He's got, <laughs> he's got no audio. What's his name, Mike? That's uh, that's Dave Kenny. He's All a, right, so uh, Silent Dave. Yeah, Silent Dave, right now. That's yeah, what like you Silent Bob, Silent Dave. Dave, no, Dave, the Quiet Man. Dave is. <laughs> Dave, I mean, we're, Dave, I don't, I don't know. He doesn't have. He doesn't have any audio. Gotta hit the mic slash, probably. Yeah, you, know, you don't have it up. We'll we'll take him off until he gets I, on. Hey, he here's a here. fighter from West Ham. Let's see if he knows this name. Do you remember? Or did you ever hear John Rainwater? Yeah, of course I know John Rainwater. Do you know John? Of course. He was well, so high had... off with uh through Bobby Harris. All those when guys. When was the last time you saw John? Years ago. He used to. I actually used to play football with one of his, um, one of his younger family. I don't know if it was his nephew or someone, uh, but that was in '98. So that's probably about the last time I saw him. Oh wow, that, yeah. that's a while. That's yeah. a while. <laughs> Good. Do you know him? Do you know him, Peter? Is he doing okay? I fought him. I fought him. Yeah. Yeah. He used to be. He used to be. Good fight. Um. Well, at that time, John was, I'm going to say, he was lucky if he weighed 200 pounds. Yeah. But he could fight. He knew how to fight. Now, yeah. I was like 215, 218 pounds. And, and he, he could fight. And, and I ended up uh, TK, TKOing him. What, what round? Um, I think it was after, like, he didn't answer the bell for the third round or the second round. I can't even remember. Dave, can you hear us? I can now. We can hear you, Dave. Welcome. Yes, Dave. Dave. It took a while to get in. Yeah. Dave, that's uh, obviously the Hurricane Peter McNeely right there. We got Tom up in the top left. I'm here with you. How you been? Did you have a good weekend? I did. Yourself? I can't complain, man. I spent a lot of it inside watching, looking out the window, but there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> uh, right? Okay, get me out of trouble. That's the that's the main thing. Hey, say, <laughs> hey, ditto, ditto, same here. 
Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> now, where's Dave coming in from? Is he a Worcester guy, too? Dave is a Worcester guy. Uh, he is, I mean, we, we all pretty much hung out at the Blarney Stone. Let's see. Uh, it's a bar back yeah. here in Worcester. It's closed now, mm. but we had. Gee, gee, I never would have guessed that. No, yeah. not yeah, yeah. yeah. Seems like a bar kind of guy. So yeah, no. Like in, we were at the tea kitchen every morning having <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You would have fit right in, Pete. Right in. <laughs> Being at the soup kitchen. Yeah. It's, All right, I'm they, gonna take off for half a sec. I'll be right back and go deal with it. Hurry them. up, Tom. Yeah, have a good one, Tom. <laughs> Love Get it. Up, Tom. <laughs> Good shit. So, Dave, what uh, you been paying attention to the Celtics? I know it's been tough. Yeah, it's it's definitely been tough. It's been tough. But, what do you think um, about tonight? I think they're gonna lose. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope not. Who's but they we'll see. So you know, it's it's the um, Kyrie stepping on the logo is. Is is what the the deal is? We don't take that. There's no. It was uncalled for. I don't give. A, I don't give a shit if you're black, white, Puerto Rican. I don't care. Uncalled for. Yeah, uncalled for. I mean, Kevin Garnett called the same thing. There's, uh, you know, I my my stance is you just you can't throw shit at the athletes. Like not. I mean. You can't my, my you point is like, you got a guy like Peter McNeil. You look at that guy, he shows pride and where he comes from. No um, shit. Who he is, uh people he knows, and someone coming in his town and stepping on his logo. What do you think he's gonna do? Pete? I get it, but it my, ain't my, happening. My, happening. the only point I, I have to make is that that kid is not throwing that water bottle at fucking Kyrie Irving if they see him in the tree. If, if they, arrest, they arrested the guy. The guy got arrested. He should have. He should have. But hey, Andy, he was wearing his. He was wearing his green Celtic tank top. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in the evidence room now, probably. But, yeah, but he, idiot. <laughs> you can't do that. You you can't. Uh, you know what? You can do it. But all, I'm telling you, like. These fans, I can't respect somebody that's throwing something. No, so back in the back in the day, Mike, I think I would have did a little bit more than that. So exactly now that I can understand, you know what I mean? Run down <laughs> if you're that mad, you know what I mean? But I mean, I just think it's cowardly to throw. That's shit. just somebody just stepping on your face. It's it's just not uncalled for. How about uncalled the uh, for. how about the the graphic of uh, Kevin Garnett came out and said something because the side by side graphics were. Kyrie stepping on Lucky's face, and then KG on the ground kissing K, uh, kissing Lucky when they won the championship. So that you know, that you don't fuck bad. with people. You don't fuck with people's pride. Kevin you know Garnett's the man. Kevin Garnett is the man. Kevin Garnett. Oh, Jesus, yeah, he is. And Kyrie yes. Irving is a scumbag. That's just the bottom line. But who, I just who is Kyrie Irving? Dirtbag. That's all he wants to do is see people hate each other, fight. He just can't. And it seems like it's all a cover for him just leaving town after he told us he wasn't going to. You know what I mean? It's uh, like, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but I don't even think the Nets really like him. He, he took the half of the year off for bullshit, you know? Wow. Um, whatever. I mean, they're going to – hopefully they don't win the championship, man. Pete, you well, earned your money. You earned your money. <laughs> you <heard> your money. <laughs> Kyrie Irving don't earn his money. He shoots his mouth off. He does. Yep, he definitely does. If you if you act like that, you know, if you act like that, then you're begging to be traded. He's got no heart. He has zero heart. Zero. Like, not on any team that he's ever been on. And whenever I look at it as he left because he wanted to be his own person, Oh, he left LeBron, but, I mean, he's failed. He's failed. He was supposed to take the Celtics to the promised land. He's failed. He's not – I don't – I hope Brooklyn never gets there because I don't want to hear the end of it, but, man. I think they're going to get there. They're going to probably get there because they got some great talent, man. There's no doubt. They got the talent. Kevin Durant's a guy that can take a team, yep. any team, you know. But Definitely. But they have hired in and, uh, you know, it's just – it's crazy. But, hey, if that's what they want to do, 
I mean, we, you got to compete somehow, you know? We need I, I, wish, I hope it comes back to Boston, but I know it ain't coming. But, I, boy, would I love it to come, Kyrie come back. Because his next, his next visit ain't going to be so nice. And it might be <laughs> next year, but you're right. It's not going to be nice at all. Hey, what are you going to do? Throw water at him? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you gonna do? I mean, at least throw a beer. Throw a beer, then. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, no. Seriously, is he a fucking wicked witch of the West? Was he supposed to fucking? <laughs> what the fuck? It's a half bottle of Dasani fucking nine dollar water bottle. Come on, come on, come on. If you're really pissed at the guy, go fucking hit him. But that was the <laughs> best thing to do. And also. Come. What? I'm melting! <laughs> I'm melting! I'm melting! Yeah, exactly! Oh my god! Oh, oh, what? <laughs> Fantastic. I wouldn't like it. I'd be mad if someone did it to me, but geez, we Louise, I think it was assault with a dangerous weapon or a deadly, not deadly, probably dangerous, dangerous weapon. Dangerous, dangerous. yeah. Hey, guns caught. The guy was caught and arrested. Yeah, yeah and they showed... In charge, I don't know if he's going to go to jail or not. Maybe he will. I don't know. They showed I a graphic of Kyrie throwing a ball into the stands at fans earlier <laughs> in his career. They said, hopefully video. hopefully Boston PD heard this or saw this, you know? But Were the, were the fans melting? Yeah, yeah. The, we threw a ball at him, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He threw it with anger, too, man. You can tell. He threw that ball like a baseball. Yeah. He bombed it and just whipped it. And like, yeah, like, yeah. Well, he pecked well, the well, he he pe to hit somebody he, somewhere. He pecked the woman with it. Really? Yeah, man, probably. Yeah. Joke, yeah. Joke, 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 hey, joke, joke. you know what, though? How about the, the, the best, like, player versus crowd incident like that? Then when Chuck Knobloch hit his mother in like the 14th row or something like that with an errant throw, that was incredible. You know, like it was deep in the in in the crowd. Do, <laughs> do, 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 do the other two guys remember Chuck Knobloch? Do you guys know who we're talking about? I do remember him. Yeah, remember Chuck that, that was the weirdest case of the yips that has ever happened. It ha I was just gonna say that <laughs> he could not throw. Yeah, it was, it was a decent, what happened to him? What happened to him? No one knows. He couldn't hit first. He yeah, it was, that was one of the strangest fucking athletic developments I've ever seen in my life. I yeah, mean, yeah, he, he melted. Still a good baseball player, but somehow he couldn't make that throw. And he got in his head really wrapped up tight, I guess. From second base. <laughs> yeah, I know. As... <laughs> fucking throw it over him, under him, behind him. Next under one. him. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Chuck, no, fuck him. He was a Yankee anyway. He deserved it. Hopefully his outfit fell off. But I, I almost always felt bad for the guy because you know he had to be – he literally had lost it right there in that moment. You yeah. Know what I mean? It's like yep. you know, it's like, ah, oh, dude. So, Pete, where are you living now? I live between Lawrence and Lowell. Still, same, same, same area. Same area. I've been in about five years. Yeah, yeah. I I was in Medfield for thirty something years. Then I was in Lowell, with two towns away: Route One, the Auto Wild, Ernie Bach. Uh, I was there for 15 years. I couldn't get back quick enough, baby. Ernie Bach. He's not he's, fucking, <laughs> he's not fucking sponsoring, hopefully someday, you know. He he's not doing the bikini contest anymore, I don't think. So I guess he that's just, a different he episode. Just, he just gave a half million dollars to the <laughs> to the bar fund. Bar he, gave, he probably gave it to him in quarters, because that's what the other guy <laughs> <really>. <laughs> He's got plenty of, plenty of fucking cash, I guess. Well, dollars. Bet me right now that Ernie Box not on my friends list. I've talked to him before. Legit, he's a good dude. Yeah, yeah. he's a nice guy. I've met him. He's a cool guy. I've met him. Yeah, is, I can't is Ernie, tell is you. It, I don't. Is it Junior? Is it Ernie Box Junior? Is it a son? Yeah, I remember Ernie Box yes. in the eighties, nineties. Yeah, my father, my father, mother okay. knew. My father, mother knew his father and mother. 
Oh, okay. All right. So it, it's the second generation because I've yes. I seen that yes. name in, seriously in 1980s. I've seen that name on Framingham Highway, like dealerships. When you drive through them, you would see them. But I didn't really start hearing them on the radio until you know I was older. But that's cool. They're, they're a cool family, I take it. You guys like them? I don't know shit about them. I uh, need this one. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> no, I, I I just met him. I don't know his per. You know, he seemed like a good guy. He seemed like a good guy to me. Yeah. No, he definitely is. He does a lot. He's very. He does a lot of uh, philanthropy. I met I met Fidrich good. back in the day too when he the was bird? working. For- yeah, yeah. The bird, the the bird, 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 bird is the word. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was a fucking great guy, man. He was a great guy. That's he was I, driving, heard I was on a construction site. He'd come in with the with his uh dump truck. Yeah, yeah. He he lived he lived in uh, I think he lived in uh Sherber. He lived well, somewhere yeah, yeah. real close to yep. Bedfield. Yeah, he used to. He used to go to the Benfield American Legion. Yup, yup, he did, he did, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. a good guy, good the guy. I, that, that tragic. That he shouldn't. Uh, he left way too early too. Did the the truck fell on him or something when he passed? Yeah. He, well, he was out of. I believe he was out of baseball by then. Yeah. No, I know that. I I know it was. I, I did not know. Is he, he's not with us anymore? No, he didn't. No, it, it was a tragic accident a while, quite a few years back. Yeah, oh, yeah. It was um, I I worked. This is a Worcester company. You guys might not know of the Manoog Plumbing Company. It was down on the corner of Piedmont, but they also supply supplied a bunch of um construction sites. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mark Fidrich was like like a heavy duty plumber. Like he would put in the lines that go under the ground. Right. Like, yeah, yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. And, yeah. and he would come in. And you'd always notice him, but he was super quiet and humble. But he's like six four. So he, he's a tall dude. I don't remember how tall he was, but you recognize him all the time. He was just as humble as any other plumber coming in there to buy a nut. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, I need uh, eighty feet of soil pipe or whatever pipe, whatever the fucking shit it was. He was the nicest guy. And one time, it started pouring. This is a true story at Manu plumbing in Worcester on Piedmont Street. He, um, he, it started pouring rain and I was inside. So I ran outside to like pull down the flag. They would always put the flag up the flagpole in the morning. He came over, didn't say a word except for hi or whatever and helped me fold it properly. And we put nice. it in that. So I have always loved Mark Fedrich. I always knew he was a local guy, but after that, I was like, dude, you're fucking aces. You know what I mean? How cool is that? That's, that's a good day. guy. Some he sweet. bought the crew. He bought the crew dinner. He bought us all oh, dinner. Really? Paid for it. Really? He, yeah. he always struck me as a solid guy. Yeah. You know, he did, did you eat good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you order? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. I love, you, I love to eat. We awesome. didn't know. He said, "Let's go out to eat," and then we all go. We were all going to lunch, and uh, he picked up the bill. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Peter. All right. All what right. Did you want? Did you eat? guys, a trick I do here. Watch, watch my right nose. Oh on. Christ! Right on. Smoke rings with the hurricane. Here we go. Come on! I can't see it. I can't oh, see Lord. it. Yeah. This should be a meme. Prepare yeah. This is meme. about to be a meme. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a meme. Did you see it? No, <laughs> I did it. One more time, one more time. All right. <laughs> Tom's going to battle you. No, I can't. Oh, Jesus Christ. Deviated septum. No, <laughs> we <can't. laughs> Do you know what we call that? Do you know what we call that? Oh. The one I drag it. <laughs> I think you. I think that's a rerun. I think you told us that in the first show. Yeah, you know, I probably. I probably. Yeah, hey, we do this on all the podcasts. Wait, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we I'm thought like we were a I'm like a comedian. I'm running out of material. That's fine. That's. <laughs> <laughs> It's a story Fine. of my life, brother. Story yep. of my life. Always running out of material. Always running out of material. What I drag? Gotta love it. 
Gotta love Tony it. Broke his nose. Tony, like he said, I got sleep apnea bad, bad, bad. You have one of those what? devices that they use? The I, I, I wear the CPAP. I wear the CPAP oh, yeah. every night. Strap the mask to my face and wear it every night. I, you know, you know, I was supposed to back in the day, but I could never. I'm claustrophobic. I could never, ever do it. Could never. Hey, Mike. Mike. Oh, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, that was right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried I tried it. I couldn't do it. Okay, I told you, 495, exit fucking 30, whatever. Let's go. I'm on my way right now. <laughs> Mike, shut the fuck up, Mike. I'm saying this to save your life, Mike. Listen, Mike, I, Mike. he knows. He knows. Mike, Mike, just don't, just don't throw any water on me. Yeah, that's why that'll be... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I'm melting. I'm melting. <laughs> Look at I'm you can't throw things at fans. You can't. No, 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 you, you, no, you can't. It's a stupid thing to do, but I, I mean you can't really the fans can't imagine, throw things at, at like, the he's lucky that's all he fucking got. That's that's he's lucky that's all he got. I I, I can agree. I can agree. But he's lucky that's all he got. I can't wait until he comes back into the garden. I cannot. No, no, he's bad. Okay. He's bad. No shit. He's no, bad. No shit. Bad. He won't bad. even come in, Pete. He's got no balls. He won't he even come in next time. He he actually, remember uh, the first game this year, he didn't show bad. up. Bad. And he knows what's coming the next time. He knows. Yeah, yeah, does. Hey, bad. Now, this brings it. Let's go back to the old, real Boston Garden. All right, my my father fought in the old Boston Garden too many times to count, and my uncle Brian, who I talked to earlier today, my uncle Brian, <laughs> he got he was banned from the old Boston Garden for starting fights in the in the crowd in my father's fight. <laughs> now that I respect. I respect that. I do. Hey, he was bad, bad, bad from the old Boston Garden. So one night, my father had a big fight. So Uncle Brian put on an overcoat, some dark glasses, a hat, and he's out to go in. The cop goes, the cop goes, where you going, Brian? And he goes, Brian, who? <laughs> did he get away with it? Did he get away with it? Or did they bust it? <laughs> oh, my. Oh. oh, my Uncle Brian. My Uncle Brian's a riot. How'd he do? Did he have a good record? A good fighting record, anyway? I'm not, I don't mean in the Uncle ring. Uncle Brian did not fight. He fought in the ring as a, as a kid. At Michigan State with my dad, but but he never turned pro. He never turned pro. Matter of fact, Uncle Brian played with the old Boston Patriots back in the day. Really? The one that was sixteen. Yes, yes. I can't remember what year that was? Was sixteen, sixty-two? Mid, mid, early to mid sixties. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you something? What do you yes. think, what do you think of Logan Paul against Mayweather? I I oh, I name. really I won't really even address it because the guy the guy is nothing but a he's not even a he's barely a novice amateur. Never mind a pro. This is what I see happening. I see. I see Wayweather in his last years, don't take me wrong, greatest fighter, one of the greatest fighters, until not an exceptional fighter in his last years. All he did was run. He wasn't there to, he was running. He wasn't like, he wasn't like a Peter McNeely there to fight. He was there, he was there to run around. You were there to fight. Well, I, I, will, I, will, give, I will give Floyd this. Floyd stood and fought um, that you had Conor McGregor. He stood he, and fought that guy, 
and then you know dragged him to later on. Some say he carried him and yeah. stopped, stopped him late. So this kid, this kid weighs about thirty-five more pounds than no than uh, Mayweather. I don't care what he weighs. I don't care how little he weighs or how much he weighs. He's nothing but a novice, barely a novice amateur fighter. Do you think it's fixed? Um, I, I'm, I'm, I won't even address that. I, no. I won't. Even, I, I, I don't. Care. I don't care. Dave, can I can I ask you a question? Yeah, you know, I understand what he's talking about. Like some guys are power fighters, like they try to run in, and like some guys, you know, they run around and they get away. Like Floyd Mayweather, obviously a defensive fighter. People want to see like guy like Peter McNeely there to fight, there yeah, to but fight. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking when you said right. that, it rang a bell in my mind, and I'm like, but if you're like a, any other player, you play to your strengths, right? If you're the fastest guy in the base pass, you're probably not going to be the guy launching, you know, 48 home runs. So you play to what can get you to win, right? If running away gets you the win or pounding the fuck out of somebody gets you the win, that's what you do. But not everyone has the same skill set. So I don't Peter, think it's a bad he, thing to be a defensive fighter, but Peter or Dave, you might have different opinions. <laughs> did you ever go in the ring and run away? You never did. No, you never, you never, get, wrong, get, wrong number. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but again, you were there, that's you were what Peter was good at. That's what Peter's expertise was, was to be a strong, powerful guy. But if he, so again, I'm going back to baseball. There's a difference between the power hitter like Cecil Fielder and some <laughs> fucking scrawny Otis Nixon who's stealing, you know, 60 bases a year. You know, you got to play to your strengths. So I don't think it's a character thing. It's just a style thing. Hey, or do you bring in Pele. I don't think they're chickens. I just think they're bring trying it, to win. The way bring in Pedro, bring in, bring in Pedro Martinez. And just forget about it all. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me, though, I'd rather watch Peter McBeely than Floyd Mayweather run around the ring. I, no, I, I, I never. No, I in the you. end, I, I didn't you. like I just, it. I just, I got you. I, I would too, obviously. But no, to me, I, no. I, what's that, Peter? Somebody was saying on Facebook earlier today about you know something about the fight. And I said, listen, a real pro fight with the little gloves on you know, is where it's at. Not some novice amateur wearing big gloves. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That and it's as simple as that. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't have an opinion on that too much because I don't know enough about it. I just think that, you know, everyone's trying to win, right? And then sometimes you have to, you might look like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> All right. So, uh, hey, uh, uh, Dave, I, I think we've only chatted a couple of times through this, if at all. Um, you you big into the Celtics and Bruins playoffs? Do we already go over that with you? I'm more into the Bruins. To st I'm more into the Bruins. Okay. Yeah. And they got a game tonight, right? I think. Oh, they lost, they lost last night. Oh, shit. So they don't have a game tonight. All right, they lost last night. Yeah. Who did they lose to? Uh, I don't know they're playing the Caps. Who are they playing? The Islanders. Say yeah, I'll tell you a guy, a former Bruin who came into my, my my hotel room in Vegas like probably less than a week before the fight was uh, Adam Oates. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Oh, my awesome. God. He was such a big name, and I have not thought of that guy forever. Is he so with us, is he still in hockey? You like coaching or anything? Hey, this guy's got hair like mine. <laughs> Peter, Peter, I'm Mike What's Mullen. Up, it's a pleasure to meet you. What's your name? My name is Mike Mullen. We have actually, a lot in common. I'm I'm a local celebrity myself. That's actually Shamrock. Sure I love your helmet. 
<laughs> yep, hell yeah. Big fan, brother. Big fan. It's a it's a pleasure to meet you. Yep. Now, are you is is he a the guy also? He is. Uh well, Auburn? I can't say I can't do that to him. Worcester. Worcester. Worcester well, all day. Worcester. Yeah. Yep. I paid the I paid the house on Auburn. Jesus, like 20 years ago. Oh my god. Yeah, I heard someone Ooh. laugh there. That... <laughs> born and no, raised, no, in, no, born no, and raised no. in Worcester. My whole life, but I, I, I did my sophomore, junior, and senior. I graduated from Auburn High School. Ooh, look at you! I, I graduated in '91. That was the year I turned pro. That was the year I joined the army. You fags. <laughs> yeah, you had hair then too. Yeah, kicked out of college. Let, let me just clarify. It you, wasn't much of a choice. So, did you you know the Volks that went to Auburn? Oh yeah, Jeremy Volk. Jer Jeremy Volk. Yeah. yeah, Jeremy. Hell of a good ball. Hell of a good hockey player. Jeremy, Chris, awesome. Eric. Yeah, I know yeah. the Volks very well. Chris used to work with the Auburn Elks. He used to, he used to work. He's, I think he still works there today. Legendary goalie. Auburn, yep. Auburn had, oh, yeah, uh, Borosini, Bombard. I mean, Auburn had an awesome hockey program. Yeah, the hockey oh. program. The, the Paduas, the yeah, hockey was incredible for a while. And I, I do have to add that I had one career goal, JV. Just saying. There's there nothing wrong with that. <laughs> You're throwing it out there. <laughs> We actually, you're sitting in a in a fucking room full of people that admitted that they can't skate. <laughs> oh, okay. None of us. Not even not even a one. I don't know, Dave. Could you skate? I don't know if you were in the in the room at that point. <laughs> I could skate. I can skate with a stick. If I get a hockey stick, like, I could... yeah. There's a, there's a lot like of people who can't stay, skate without a stick. That was I, like the that was like the Will Ferrell movie, Last of the Lost. He says. <laughs> I used to wrestle. He said, I used to wrestle. And the guy says, JV. <laughs> I could skate if I had a walker and like somebody to help me. I, would, I could fucking, I'd rip the fuck out of that for rage. Well, we used, to, we used to play what we call boot hockey. Work boots. Work boots on the ice with sticks. Yeah. yeah. That that's what I need. I'm a human Zamboni. I need the work boots. I'm <laughs> the human Zamboni. Zamboni. Human Zamboni. <laughs> so I can love it. <laughs> so, Peter, Peter, I had a few questions for you because I knew you. It, sure. it, it, the bio says you were born in Boston. Where exactly? Where exactly were you born? What was it? I was, I was born in Boston. Uh, at what is now Brigham and Women's Hospital. Back then it was whatever. You know, I mean, I was born at 68. So whatever it was called back then, you know. Well, because my, my stepdad grew up in Stoughton. In, uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, Town Spa. Right next to Brockton. Town Spa Pizza. Yeah, oh, great place. Great place. I had a... Had a disc or two from there. And you you went to what Bridgewater Bridgewater State? Is that where you went? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And if I didn't go to Bridgewater State, then I never would have started boxing in Brockton. Right next to Bridgewater. And that was the connection? Yeah, yeah. I I fought at the Petrelli Gym in Brockton. I walked in that gym like four months, five months after Hagler and Leonard. Oh, man. And the gym was jumping with vicious animals. And, and you know, the gym was loaded because of Hagler, you know? Oh, yeah. I sparred, I sparred with every one of them. Well, yeah, it's amazing that the people that the, you came in touch with and, you know, I... People don't realize too. You, you, uh, and I knew this before, but your record was forty-seven and seven. 
Yes. And yes. that's nothing that's nothing to sneeze at. I don't care who you are. No, what people don't know is no matter who I fought, whatever, but to get to Tyson, <coughs> I had 37 fights in 44 months. That's crazy. That's thing, dude. I, I'm sorry, Michael, Mike Moen. I don't mean to interrupt you, but I looked at uh, Peter's record like prior to the Tyson fight. He literally fought, good Lord. He fought like 30, 37 fights in 44 months. That was insane. <laughs> He fought, like, literally, it was, like, April 15th, May 16th, June 21st, and then the big fight in August or whatever. It was crazy how much he fought. It really was. I remember, I remember one month, we fought three, three fights a month. Yes, I know. I don't mean to laugh, but it just seems to me, like, you know one would ever do that, right? Nowadays, well, or ever. Well, really. it's, no. It's, you know, it's what you have to do on your way up. You yeah. have to do that. Yeah, that was that was just amazing to me. Just look at the dates; it's like just piled on top of each other. I'm like, dude, and I that, couldn't take vacations that far apart and stress me out too much. Fights <laughs> every fucking three weeks. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, what was Vivi Vecchioni? He was my manager, my trainer, and promoter, and. Vinny was a real old school fight guy, um, and like it was, just, it was, it was pretty crazy. Like one month we have no no fights, the next month we have two fights. You know what I mean? Was, uh, but but in the end, it was thirty seven fights in forty four months. And now, Peter, your, your dad was a professional boxer, correct? My father, my father fought Floyd Patterson for the heavyweight championship of the world December 4th, 1961. And, I'm, you know, things were so different from back then. Like, for instance, it had it gone the distance, it would have been 15 rounds. Yeah. Hey, I just want to welcome everyone's favorite Titans fan, Eric Mahoney, baby, back for more. <laughs> oh, absolutely. How are you, Eric? Where is, my, where is this dude? Let's fucking go. I'm kind of disappointed. I, I turn it on. We're talking about current playoff series, and we're like a, a playoff series behind. What the hell's happening here? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> we're going to – hey, you're going to more questions. Like beans heavyweight. <laughs> I'm a heavyweight, all right. I got you. E, e, you know we live in the past, baby. Oh, absolutely, we live in the past. absolutely, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to be drunk on me lately. Yeah. How about them times? Oh, rumor, rumor has it that um, Julio's going to the Titans. What's up? We're hoping so, but it looks like Seattle's going to slide in with uh, Wilson making personal phone calls. No way. Uh, offering, up, yeah. offering up Ciara. Is that tampering oh. or no? Is that cool? Can you do that now? Tiana, it's a new NFL. It is what it is. Long hey. as nobody's throwing water, he's all right in my book. <laughs> <laughs> They'll melt, those fuckers. They'll melt, those fuckers. <laughs> yeah, Eric, hello. Nice to see you on here. Remember What's going on, brother? Guests, so we got to give him priority, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Tell me more about your views of Tennessee Titans. Oh, uh, you know, I, we could go on for hours about this, but let's make this about Peter. I have a question for him. Yes. I, I have a question regarding the Floyd, Med, uh, Floyd Mayweather. Sorry, Jesus, can't speak. If he turns around and ends up losing this fight on a lucky punch from Logan, what does that oh. do for his legacy? Is it all over or... Does that make boxing look like a joke? I'm not even going to address it. No, no? like because the guy he's fighting is not even a novice amateur boxer. Yeah, I agree. And you no, know, put the little gloves on, get it on. If the, if the gloves are if the gloves are big, then you know. 
then good luck to both of them. But if they're, if they're, if they're little pro clubs, you know, good luck to. But to me, to, why is why is Mayweather even entertaining this? Money. 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 <laughs> money. Money, baby. He, Woo! He needs, he needs money. He needs more money now. Yeah, it must I be laid on his child support. I don't know whether he needs <laughs> money. You know, who knows? But, I mean, after that pod kill fight, there's no way he needs money. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Now, there's a guy. There's a guy I pay to fight. It's Pacquiao. I pay to watch him fight any day. He's there to fight. Right? Not, not me, brother. Pacquiao's there to fight. Yeah. Now yeah. it's funny you say that because I was in Dallas um, a year ago this past January, and it was like right before the, the COVID. <laughs> COVID had just started, but it hadn't hit. New England bad like it did, and um, I, I I went to a you know this guy flew me in to do some interviews and blah 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 you know we agreed some you know and but I said to the guy I said take me to a local boxing gym so he takes me to the local boxing gym I'm in Dallas all of a sudden I walk into this gym and there's a guy up in the ring with with his fighter. And all of a sudden, the guy goes, hey, Peter McNeely, I was with you in the locker room and in Boston at the Park Plaza Hotel. I'm like, I'm like yeah, yeah. It was like, I mean, it was, it was, you know, hey, Peter. It's, a small, it's a small world, but I wouldn't want to paint it. <laughs> Peter. I had a, Peter, I had a, I had a question for you. Yes. And now I know me personally and my whole crew and everybody, when you fought Tyson, it was one of the biggest things. We were, you know, legit enthralled and, and engulfed in this thing. My, I had a question of when that, when you actually physically stepped into that ring and that bell went off, what were your thoughts? I I had an SPD. <laughs> I was scared to death. I was scared to death. You're a good man, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> he is. But any any great fighter, because even Tyson has said that if you're not scared, you're not human. You're not human. You should be there. Sort of yeah, but you me. went out. You were you went out swinging. That's what I mean. People pay for that. That's you the only know. way to go. The only right. way to go. No, That's total, right, total respect. You went out swinging. Did it hurt? Uh, Did it hurt uh, when he hit you? Peter's <laughs> fight with Tyson, which lasted uh, two plus minutes, uh, just under a round, I guess, is still ranked in the top fifty. I think of like MLB's ranking of fights or ESPN's ranking no, of no, fights. No, top, top, top 15. Top 15. Top 15. Just pay pay per view, pay per view events of all time. Yeah, P Peter, um, uh, I remember that whole year leading up to it. Okay, Tyson's getting out of prison. He's going to fight A, B, C. You know, they name a bunch of guys. Then they name a guy from Massachusetts. We all flip the fuck out. We're like, hell yeah. Let's see this shit. I, I, <laughs> Peter, Peter, lasted, Peter lasted more in the ring with Tyson than you doing oh, better. Oh, you asshole. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> way, to, way to break up the monotony. <laughs> <laughs> I just miss. I imagine someone just made fun of me. Yeah, go ahead. Throw it up there again, buddy. I seen it. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. That was good. Sounds more than what I say a minute 29. Than what I say 89 seconds. <laughs> so, Pete, how did that Tyson punch really feel? Well, oh, it felt like, awesome. It was the best thing ever. You love considering, one. Considering I took an uppercut. I took oh, you definitely best, did. His best punch, D 
the uppercut, play hey, black. Yeah, hey, you go. But down on my face, managed to get up and beat the count. Yep. And, and you know what? Hey, um, I was, the, way I, the way I look at it, today was, I was lucky that I was able to get up. You went out swinging. People have total respect to this day, Pete. You went out swinging. Hey, no hey. doubt. All day. No doubt. Was what it was, what it was. But you know what? Hey, you know what? Like, I, you know, I've had my, my meetings with Tyson since, you know, like we met each other uh, in Boston. Uh, he had me up to his hotel room. In uh, nine, early 1998, um, and then, then he he you know like, I mean uh, you can only imagine how how much how much now after I got prank phone calls. Yeah, from the assholes like Mike Costello. Yeah. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Wait, to this day, the greatest prank phone call of all time. There was no doubt. <laughs> Productive prank phone call of all time. There is no doubt about that. <laughs> but, like, you know, I'm out here Mike again. Tyson, Mike Tyson got my phone <laughs> number. Got my phone number in 07. And we talked on and off for like three months. And every every time he called, before anything was said, before, before anything was said, Peter, how's your father? Nice, nice, yeah, yeah. And actually, Peter, since our first episode, like a month or so ago, when you were kind enough to join us, yep. I've looked into your father, and I've found some really cool photos. I just didn't have time to back them up today, but I will load them in next time you come in. Man, I have a picture of him knocking. I'm sure it's one you've seen a million times of him knocking Floyd Patterson down. But no, I, I have it really right cool. here. You know exactly the picture I'm talking about, right? Yeah. I I, I want to put together a package about your father. I I posted on Instagram and Facebook. It's a good one. The one you posted was better than the one I had. I did a couple. I did two different ones that were good. Yeah. Oh, Peter, while we're on the subject of family, how did your brother get the nickname Snubby? (laughs) <laughs> oh, hey. I made him an overnight, overnight legend. Great question, Mike. <laughs> um, uh, he got the nickname Snubby when he was like four years old because Gilligan's Island had a cartoon. There was a little monkey named Snubby on the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> This is for Snubby. Yeah. That speech is awesome too. That fucking before the fight, hey, that was incredible. Like that's one of the, he was. You know, did you ever have a friend that had a nickname that nobody ever knew their real name? Yep. We yes. called him by the nickname, but nobody would know his real name. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my little brother. Even his I, teacher. Even his teachers in high school got him snubby. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. I knew, I knew, it, I knew an Oki and a Woody and an OB, and I assume it's like O'Connor and maybe the last name was Wood. Or the yeah. Last name was O'Brien My- or something, but I never verified that. I was just like, okay, you're Oki. My dad, my dad's uncle was Uncle Loki, because he was he was an O'Connor. He was an O'Connor from Southie, so he was right. so Uncle Loki. Probably one of his names, right? One of his nicknames from his friends. Yeah, but I never asked their full names. I'm like, okay, just Oki. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. What's it, guys? Okie dokie, we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to start taking yeah, some, we do. some of you guys Price off this screen. Hey, Pete, it's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you, buddy. Dave, thank you for stopping in, my man. Come. 
All right, Mike. Take your, take your way back, Thank brother. Thanks for having us, man. Peter. Thank Peter, God so bless. Guys. God bless Thank and take care. God bless. Good, man. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Have a great night, guys. Yeah, thank you, Peter, for your time. We'll hey, Eric, go fuck good. yourself and the Titans. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Ah, Tighten up, bitches. Nice Tighten up. That statue is more than welcome back before you are. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's all good. Nighty night. night. Keep your butthole tight. Yeah. <laughs> I got to tell you, Mike, for you. I got right. you. Yeah, cool. Love it. Yeah. Eric, thank you. Have a great a great night, brother. Yeah. Okay, Mike. Tommy. Hey, what's up, man? You still on? I'm in. Oh, man, that was great. I'm so it glad. It was good. That was good. That was fun. I like having fun. Yep. Yeah. You know, I don't have to always worry about shit. People no, we're are... good. We're good to go, man. That was another good one. I'll tell you, we can't miss these days. But, Tommy, thank you for helping me out tonight. I appreciate it. We're, we're still going on Thursday. So. Yeah, yeah, we'll still go on Thursday. Listen. Uh, are we alone on here? Not yet. I no, I'll hold on. I'll, I'll end it. I'll end it in a minute. We got. Um, I just want to shout out everybody too. Please go see yeah. my friend Sarah. She's out in North Brookfield with uh, oh, yeah. Four and Seasons Nutrition. Yeah. I'm doing. I'm doing shakes and teas and everything. I'm getting. You know, I, the energy is incredible. Just without energy drinks, it's amazing. But everybody, yeah. go check her out, and uh, right. we appreciate remember you stopping by tonight. Share, remember, I said we were gonna share.